Hey guys, how's it going? Jared Bronstein here, and welcome to Inform Overload. We make the news fun and interesting, and also count down some of the craziest top tens you'll ever see. Today, we'll be counting down the top ten times people showed up to dates and looked nothing like their pictures. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've actually never been catfished. I'm pretty good at scoping out when someone is just using some good angles or an old picture on Tinder or whatever dating apps I've used in the past. Every single one. The golden rule is to always get the Snapchat, guys. Always. Like, without a doubt, yo, add me on Snap. If they don't wanna do that, something's up. Anyways, I will say some of the stories on here didn't even get to the point where the date showed up because they weren't even real. But the stories were too good not to include on this list, so let's just kick it right off. Coming to number 10, we got Ken without vocal cords. So the story here is a girl's friend retweeted someone on Twitter. Naturally, like we all do, the girl, who we'll call Rachel, saw a profile picture she was intrigued by and decided, yes, he's the one. We'll call him Ken. So then Rachel called up her friend that retweeted Ken's tweet and asked about him. The friend said he's a good friend of mine and they've hung out before. Eventually our girl Rachel and Ken started talking, but only over text. Rachel for some reason asked her friend to jump on a three-way call with her and Ken. Weird, but okay. Rachel's friend then told her Ken can't talk as he was born without vocal cords. Yet somehow Rachel claims they had phone sex with Ken, texting how he was feeling. Ah, that's a weird flex too, but okay. One day Ken texts Rachel, there's an Instagram profile that's trying to slander me. If it follows you, block them. Odd, but okay. Rachel decided to look into it and saw Ken with another girl. She does more research and it turns out Ken is actually a woman pretending to be Ken, and she's been doing this for about seven years. They might not have met, but I mean, it's kind of impossible to show up to a date if you're not real, right? Number nine, Becky. Becky is a 25 year old woman who seemed to hit it off with a guy she met online. The man wasted no time and asked if Becky wanted to meet at a local bar to see if there was any chemistry between the two before they go on a proper date. I still think it's like a proper date, but okay. Becky thought she was meeting a man in his early 30s, but her date ended up being an older man well into his 60s at the very least. And the best part of it, well, he just sat there with her like everything was normal. Becky admitted she was in such shock she didn't even know how to handle the situation. Eventually, she got out of there by saying she had an emergency to take care of at home. But the worst of it all was Becky had some friends at the bar asking if the man was her grandfather. Yikes. Number eight, we got Karen. This 33 year old is a hero of sorts. She really took one for the team here and slowly put an end to a man posting outdated photos on his match.com profile. Story here is Karen went on a date and the guy's photos were apparently well over a decade old. She wasn't into it and she's got tons of friends or other options if I understood her story correctly. And she straight up just said she was going home. Although the man appeared to be taken back by this ordeal, Karen checked his profile a short time after the date and he changed his photos. So I think it's safe to say Karen is the hero we all need. Number seven, we'll just call her Jessica. Jessica wasn't into the whole online dating thing, but like most of us, eventually she said, Oh, what the hell, and gave in to her urgence. She admits she uploaded a few filtered photos, but I mean, we all do, no big deal there. She still looked like her. Then she got herself a date. They spoke on the phone and this guy seemed to be the one. On the night of the date, she was nervous that she wouldn't be pretty enough for him. I don't know why people think that way. It's not about the looks, guys, it's about, it's about what's in here. Turns out, when he showed up, he looked nothing like his photos, to the point where Jessica claims he was almost unrecognizable. Oh no. Jessica claims his face was rounder, his hair was completely different, and he had put on weight, among other things she couldn't quite place. She went to the bathroom on the fence about whether or not she was just going to leave. Then she had a change of heart. Their conversation was good, and although he didn't look the same to his photos, maybe she wasn't giving him a proper chance. So she decided to stick it out and continue the date. Not sure what happened from that point on, but good for her. I mean, I don't know who's in the right or wrong. I mean. The guy uploading super old photos is probably in the wrong, right? Number six, Mario the photographer. Now this wasn't your conventional date when someone is looking for a partner. Instead it was more of a business type date, I guess we'll call it. But it still warrants to be on this list. A woman who we can call Kelly was a model in her early 20s. One day another model named Hannah shot Kelly a message randomly asking her a few questions about the industry. They ended up becoming quite friendly and agreed to do a double lingerie shoot together with a photographer named Mario. The day of the shoot, Hannah didn't show up, but Kelly still shot with Mario. Kelly and Mario actually she ended up working together a few times, but Hannah completely disappeared. She stopped responding to Kelly, and then Kelly finds out Mario was arrested for impersonating a girl named Hannah and shooting underage girls in nude shoots. I mean, not only did the girl not look like the person Kelly was expected to meet, she wasn't real, and she kind of was real, I guess. She was a guy. I don't know. It's a crazy situation, man. Coming in at five, Reddit user Infracios. Probably said that wrong, but you know. Not every story has a bad ending here. We'll call this guy Frank. Frank met a girl on Tinder and claims she was a solid five or six out of 10 based on photos. They talked and had fun and he felt he was falling in love. Then he looked her up on Facebook and was disappointed. He says that she went from a five or a six to a solid four. But Frank isn't a shallow guy like me apparently. He decided she was still attractive to him and decided he was going to meet her in person. Turns out, in his own words, she's an eight out of 10 in his books and her personality is even better in person. Everything he could want in a girl. They ended up 
together. Ta-da! Not all bad stories on this list, I guess. Number four. Okay, this one's bad again. Another Reddit user named Ain't No Names Left 90, but we'll just call him Jake for the sake of this video, because I'm not gonna keep saying Ain't No Names Left 90. So Jake sees a girl on Tinder. Good looking girl, great body, he's into it. Then they meet in person, and it's definitely not the same girl he saw. Apparently this girl is 100 plus pounds heavier compared to her photos, and in person, she barely says a word. Then Jake leaves and gets a text from this girl begging for him to sleep with her. But things got even crazier. She would constantly text Jake confessing her love for him, asking for him to impregnate her. But that's not all. She would also threaten to kill him or take her own life. So yeah, I mean, that's that's Tinder for you, I guess. Number three, we'll call them the bros. This guy named Drew ended up talking to a girl he thought went to his school on Facebook. They spoke for a month, then she just disappeared on him. Then out of the blue, she messages him again asking for a date. He was into it and they agreed to meet at the cafe on campus for lunch. Turns out it was these two guys from his dorm that created a fake Facebook account of a girl using random photos. They showed up to the cafe and his date, who clearly isn't real, didn't. After his date, he got a message from her, aka the two bros from the dorm, who said she was at the cafe on the other side of town. Now here's where things get interesting. Drew had his friends add her on Facebook and ask why she kept standing Drew up on dates. Eventually she said she can't do this anymore to Drew and disappeared. And the craziest part of this story is one of Drew's friends actually knew the girl whose photo these guys were using. She thought the entire situation was whack, but still decided to give Drew a chance. And they went out a few times. That's all that I know, so I don't know if it lasts or not, but good for you Drew. Number two, Reddit user Killjoy kills Joy. So Buddy matches with a girl on Tinder, he sees on her profile she's got a twin, but doesn't think much of it. They chat, end up agreeing to go on a date, and then it happens. The woman shows up, appearing to be much heftier than originally thought out to be. Buddy here doesn't mind, date goes well, he enjoys himself, but he's still got a weird feeling about the whole twin thing. So he checks Facebook and realizes the girl he went out with was actually using her twin's photos on Tinder. Buddy wasn't sure how to feel because on one hand he liked her, she was cool, but she's also a liar using photos of her sister on Tinder. So he ended up texting her saying he went to add her on Facebook and her sister's profile came up which showed the photo she was using on Tinder. He was just looking for an explanation. He wasn't even that mad, but she ended up blocking our friend and didn't even reply. He was actually pretty upset about it. Kind of sad. And at number one, I mean this one absolutely has to take the cake and you'll see why in a second. So this guy Randy matches with a solid eight on Tinder. Again, his words, not mine. And shoots her a message saying, yo, do you like Christian Bale? Instant chemistry, they immediately hit it off, start sending each other snaps, and he asks her to get a coffee. She says, why don't we just do coffee at my place? Boom, Randy's into it. Thinks he's gonna get laid. Great. He goes into the apartment hoping she'd be in the lobby. And after five minutes, he gets a text from her with the apartment number and her saying, my roommate is on the couch. Come on in. Randy decides to walk into the apartment, sees the roommate, and starts making small talk. Guy doesn't seem very interested in talking to Randy. About 10 minutes later, she's still not out of the bathroom or her room or wherever she was that she wasn't with Randy, so Randy gets up to leave. He's sitting there with his roommate. It's kind of weird. The roommate says she'll be right out, and Randy wasn't staying another second, but as he's about to go and walk out the door, this girl comes out of the room looking better than Randy could have imagined. She offers some coffee. He decides to stay. Then she asks if he wants to hook up with her, to which he says, of course. I mean, look at you. Who would say no? Something along those lines. Kind of a weak line, but we'll go with it. She hits him back with one condition though. He's thinking, where is this going? She hits Randy back with, my roommate has to join us. So not only did the girl from Tinder look better than her photos, but she wanted to include someone else who wasn't in the picture in the first place. Now to wrap up, Randy said if it was a good looking dude, he'd be in, but her roommate apparently was far from that. And Randy thinks this girl gets guys on Tinder to come have a threesome with the two of them because her roommate can't find a guy. It's kind of sad, it's also kind of messed up. He ended up saying no and leaving after she asked him to leave because, you know, he wasn't down to to round up the troops, like have a threesome, you know. Anyways, there you guys have it for the top 10 times people showed up to their dates and looked nothing like their pictures. Granted, there were a few on this list where the people weren't even real, but I won't lie to you guys, this one was a really tough one to do. Either way, let me know in the comments down below your worst Tinder or dating story. I've had my fair share of getting ghosted, but not catfished. Anyways guys, let's reply to some comments from the video top 10 celebrities who look nothing like their photos in real life. Amanda Switzer said, you casually call him Brad Pitt daddy, LMFAO. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm very confident in my sexuality that I can say another man is very attractive or good looking or even hot. Whatever word, I, I don't feel any shame saying that. I could admit it. He's a very good looking guy. No Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper is f <laughs> Carion Award said, y'all should do a top 10 YouTubers who should be canceled. I feel like we already did that. Uh, or very similar. Did we? Did we do that? Oh, uh, it was number two. Yeah, we did do that. I was number two. Should have been number one. Grim Exploration said, Jared, I always watch your videos and comment on them. You never feature me like pickles and potatoes do. Sad face. Well, I got you, Grim. I saw you posting some other videos too, like some comments, and I was like, I'm gonna shout this guy out because he's a real one. So I appreciate your support. You got your shout out. Huh. I'm still dealing with this cold, guys. That's why I sound like this. So forgive me for sounding a little, you know. <laughs> but I don't know what that was. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up. We got some great bloopers coming up that you guys aren't gonna wanna miss.
Number six, Mario the photographer. Is it Mario? I think it's Mario. It's a me, Mario. M Mario. I think it's Mario. I don't know. How does how does he say it, Nintendo? It's a me, Mario. Ma it's Mario, right? Yeah. It's a me, Mario. Mario. It's Mario. It's Mario for sure. He doesn't say Mario. It's a me, Mario. Talking to a girl he thought went to school on Facebook. Went to his school on Facebook. <laughs> hey, where do you go to school? Oh, I go to school on Facebook. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. Share it with a friend. Click that bell to never miss a video. And stay informed by watching Inform Overload. We'll see you guys in the next one.